Hi, I'm Dale Marvers. Welcome to the Mile High Muscle Show. Today we are going to go over the difference between toning your body and actually building shape in the body. A lot of people don't understand the fact that when you're shaping the body, you need to do exercises where you can break the muscle down, like a squat. So I'm going to perform that with you today. I see a lot of women in the gym, and you know they'll do little stuff for their glutes, you know, stuff like this. And that's fine and dandy, but you're not going to build any shape doing that. All you're going to do is tone and condition your muscle. So I want to kind of go over the squat. The place to learn to squat is in the Smith machine. It's going to you know, basically guide your body along with your rods so you don't have the balance effect. So let's go over the squat, and I will show you how to build some shape in your legs. Yeah, yeah. you are now. Okay, so... Here we are back. I got Katie Lane, NBC Colorado competitor. She won her class this year at Colorado State. She only trained for five months ever in the gym before getting ready for the show. And what attributed to a lot of her success was, you know, developing her legs right away with the squat. So, Katie, why don't you get in there? We'll kind of go over what you want to do. Is you're trying to build an invisible plane with the bar on your back. So she's going to put the bar right here, the lower trapezoid, is that there a little bit? That's where the bar is going to rest. She's going to come up. What she's going to do when she comes down, she's going to breathe deep in her chest, and the whole time she's thinking about driving her feet into the ground. And then she comes up, blows the air out. You can see, back is straight. She's putting massive pressure on the gluteus, the quads, and the hamstrings which is all going to break that muscle down and it's going to grow back bigger. And that's how you build shape through the squat. Here we are again from the front side so you get a better look. Her feet are out in front of her. Her heels are probably actually even with the bar, so that's a good measure. Put your heels, the back of your heels even with the bar. So when she goes down, she's breathing into her chest. It's like she's sitting in a chair. Those knees really keeping all the pressure off the knees and all the pressure in the glutes and quads. Pay attention, the bar's on her back. She's breathing in deep, she's pressing through her heels and she's coming up. Now what I would recommend is about five sets of 20 to 30. Do that twice a week in your leg workout and you'll see great gains coming up. Okay, another great exercise for building glutes, shape to your glutes. You're gonna put a lot of you know, pressure on the glutes. You've gotta have pressure create the muscle breakdown to make the shape so it can grow back bigger. These are hip thrusts. You can get into your basic hamstring machine and kind of from the side, put your feet down. Just drive right through your heels, push up and squeeze your glutes. It's a great exercise. You like a set, like a giant set like this, go here first, and then in the squats, and you will build the glutes you want. <laughs> Giving you guys two great exercises to uh, practice over the next few weeks. And I'm going to be checking in every few weeks with new exercises to give you more little tips of, you know, how to build the shape in your body you need to present on stage. So uh, try those tips. Email me, uh, DylanArmBrust at Live.com. If you have any other questions, I'll try to take care of any questions I can and uh, get them on the show for you. Thanks. Why Armbrust Pro Gym? This is why. Welcome back to the Mile High Muscle Show. Where here we are, Dylan Armbrust at Armbrust Pro Gym again, and I am going to go over dumbbell curls with you. One of the biggest mistakes people make doing dumbbell curls is they throw their shoulder into it, curling up, thinking they're going to peak their bicep more. Let me tell you, your bicep's going to develop how you're genetically supposed to develop. If you want to put the most pressure on the bicep during your curl, what you want to do is pretend it's just a steel rod going 
into your elbows through your body and you don't let those arms move at all. All the pressure is on the bicep. There's no pressure anywhere else except for in your brachialis and your bicep. There's nothing in the shoulder. You'll get so much volume, so much more out of curling like this than coming up like this and throwing your shoulders into it. You will see your biceps develop twice as fast, I promise you, with the forced reps and, you know, the push to go along with it. So, more bicep training. Same type of deal with curl bar. What I like to do here is the arms are staying back. She's using all biceps. And she's just basically a good guidance is the bottom of your chest. Pull that bar right into the bottom of your chest and squeeze those biceps. If you add these little tips in your bicep training, it's going to make the world a difference for you, I promise. I've given you tips on exercises, form, little details. One of the details I didn't cover is rep range. And when you are, you know, doing these exercises, it's, a, it's very important to pump enough blood into the muscle so it can expand, stretch the muscle face out, so it can do its thing as far as growing. And in order to do that, you really need to be up in the rep range of, you know, 15 to 30 reps, and just really pumping that blood in there. Pump, 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 so you can't go anymore. Force reps, drop sets. Can't do anymore with 20 pounds, you got 12 reps, drop it. Grab 15 pounds, do another five, drop it. Grab a 10 and do 10, 10 more reps. Just pump the blood in there. Go, go, go.